viewers, welcome to Art Lapse, a series where I share a time lapse of my art and we talk all about creativity because the artist behind the art is even more important than the art itself. So to stick on the theme of the holidays, which it's Thanksgiving, I felt that it would be a wonderful theme to discuss and explore with you all how to practice the art of gratitude. Because if you're any thing like me, which if you're on this channel listening, you certainly are. Gratitude is something that is very important for mindfulness. It's very important for balance and recognition because there's it, the statistic is something like the animal brain, which is the survival part of our brain. It takes six positive things to counter one negative. So we must be diligent and do our best in practicing gratitude. Let's dive in. Practice daily. Build your gratitude muscle. Like anything else in life, Gratitude is a practice. It's not a light switch. It's not going to happen overnight. It's something that you're going to have to be diligent and consistent to really rewire the way your brain naturally thinks. And that's going to take consistency. Now, that doesn't mean you have to put all or nothing in. If you miss a day here and there, pick yourself back up and get back to practicing. Do your best to make gratitude a practice. Be creative. Creativity is your strongest muscle as an artist, so flex it. And what this means is like, of course, your mind has a way it naturally thinks and flows and the way that thought patterns come across. So you really want to confront your resistance to this and start being creative to look at your situations in life from a different perspective and flex that creativity muscle. If you feel stuck in life, being stuck is an illusion because every day is a brand new day. In Buddhism, Buddha says the sun is born and dies with each day, meaning every day is a brand new day for us to live a new way and live a new life think a new way so be creative start a gratitude journal now when i started my gratitude practice this is how i started i got a gratitude journal for myself as a little present where I wrote three things I was grateful for every single day. And that really, really helped me to reframe and provide a space for myself to practice gratitude and to, as a way to hold myself accountable. Now, I've also thought and dabbled in the idea of creating my own gratitude journals. If you think that's something you'd like to see from the art of Ilea Stara, go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below and I'll prioritize that project if that's something that you uh, res resonate with and desire. <laughs> Use affirmations. Affirmations are positive statements that we say out loud because by speaking words into existence and using our words out loud, it has so much power, so much weight. That's why we call it like spelling. It's like spells that we cast. So it really helps you to begin to rewire the way that you think by speaking these affirmations because these are things that get really plugged into your subconscious programming. So when you need them most, that phrase, that chant, that mantra, that affirmation is able to pop back up and you're able to reference it for later. And that's the power of affirmations. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. It's not something that is going to be a miracle. It takes consistency and practice like anything else. Reframe negative thoughts. Now, this is a trick that I've started to implement in my own practice, where when I find myself on a negative train of thought and I start to go towards anxiety and fear, and as someone who's grown up with anxiety and depression, like I definitely empathize with it a lot. But something I have done to try to help this practice is to reframe my negative thoughts, to view it from a different perspective, to write a new story that not everything needs to be a horrible 
fearful, sad story all the time. How can we switch it up and see it from a different perspective of, well, what if this story is good? What if something good happens? What if all these things or what if this is a blessing in disguise? You see what I mean? So really start to challenge and reframe those negative thought patterns as they come up. Stop complaining. If you don't complain, if you don't even entertain the negative thought patterns as they come up, then they hold no power. Then all your energy is going towards positivity, optimism, silver linings, all the good things that fill you up, that get you excited, that lift your spirit up rather than drag you down into the dumps because a lot of thoughts work off of energy and momentum. Have you ever noticed if you entertain a thought, you could be stuck on that thought, that trail for like three hours if it gets away from you. So if we're able to nip it in the bud and stop that train before it even leaves the station, even better. Reflect on obstacles that turned into miracles. The longer you live life, you'll see how sometimes good things turn into bad things and bad things turn into like miraculous things. So really take a step back and reflect on the sequence of events in your life of how bad things or obstacles ended up turning out ultimately good because by recognizing that we can take our power back in those difficult moments to recognize maybe this is going to turn out better than I would have ever thought. And that can be the light that carries you through those obstacles, but we must start to recognize it in ourselves. Express gratitude to loved ones and strangers. Instead of apologizing, start thanking people. Like if you're running late, instead of being like, oh, I'm so sorry I was late, you could start expressing thank you for being so patient and really taking the time and understanding and you could still apologize if you want but i often have found that people resonate and have a lot more positive reaction when you thank them instead of apologize to them because apologizing kind of creates a dynamic where one party feels the need to soothe another like oh no it's okay rather than shining the spotlight on their virtuous qualities which helps them feel uplifted as well do random acts of kindness i know we've all heard this before but it's really true like donate what you can even if it's five dollars or share food with a someone or whatever you're able to do because it really starts to help you to recognize that you do have more things than other people even though sometimes we may feel stuck in lack you do have things that you can share you do have gifts and abundance and things like that more than other people do you know there are always going to be people who have it better off than you but there's always going to be people who have it worse off than you so if you're able to you can share a bit of what you have and bring joy to someone else's day and that will also help you to recognize all the amazing things you have in your life to be grateful for look back on your journey look at how far you've come especially as an artist and creative we really need to take the practice to take a step back from our art journey and to reflect on the entire journey and all the accomplishments and all the things we've created and all the obstacles we've had and overcome as an artist because literally that is the fuel in your engine that's going to get you so excited that recognition is really going to uplift your own inner child and you will feel a lot more capable you will feel a lot more persevering and resilient and you can start to really see how you've grown over the journey of your creative career and find immense gratitude and joy in that instead of always chasing that white rabbit of the next goal or the next thing to like prove yourself why don't you take a moment take a step back and validate yourself you don't need permission from anyone else you can provide that to yourself and in fact i feel as creatives that is our jobs to provide that to ourselves because we're the creators and it's up 
to ourselves to recognize our own worth and the worth of our art. So how do we do that? By making it a practice to do so. Even if it's just flipping through your Inktober that you did last month and seeing all the wonderful, beautiful, talented work that you created. You can start right there. It's not too hard. <laughs> If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you have any requests for future Art Labs topics, go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. But as always, thank you so much for tuning in. It was a pleasure. I'll also be hosting a Black Friday sale in my online shop for 20% off when you use the promo code BFSale2022. Thank you so much for supporting me and my small business, for listening to this YouTube, for everything. It truly means the world to me. Stay magical. Until next time, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you all. Bye.